Hello, my name's Gav Munro. I'm a painter from um, the UK and I'm based in China. I usually paint portraits mostly with acrylic on canvas, but this time I wanted to do something a little bit different and study one of my favourite artists, a guy called Jack Vetriano. And the piece that I wanted to reproduce was called The Singing Butler. And that's like one of the most popular prints in the UK at the moment. It's a very popular painting. And I just wanted to try and learn some of his techniques. I started in Photoshop and I basically took photographs of the painting through various stages. I put them all together into one Photoshop document so I could line them all up um, to make sure that they would be a smooth transition on the video. So what I would do is I would use a base image and then overlay one on top of it and then adjust the transparency to see where, where the positioning was and then move it slightly across. When they were all lined up correctly, I then save them as individual images. I then opened HitFilm Express, which is my preferred video editor. It's great and it kind of does everything that Final Cut does. Um, I took all the images, imported all the images into the software, and then put them in order into the timeline. Like that. Now, once I've got them in the timeline, I can scroll through, play through it, and just see how it looks. Okay. Now, it's a little long at the moment. The individual shots are a little long, so I'm going to shorten those to about half a second. So it'll be two frames a second, this video. Okay, now I've got them all lined up. Two frames a second, there we go. Now to make the transitions look a little bit smoother, I'm gonna add an effect called a cross dissolve in between the frames. And this will make the whole transition effect look a lot smoother. There we go, so just play it now and you'll see, hopefully, that it looks a lot smoother. Yeah, there we go. So, I'll just export that and then we can upload that to um, Artivive. Now, once you've signed up for your Artivive account, you'll have access to the back end of the Artivive website, which is the bridge. In default mode, you get three slots for free here. So I've used all three now, so I'm just going to delete. Uh, I'll delete this one of the Beatles on the left-hand side. There we go. And now I'm ready to add a new piece. So if you see the, the box at the top, one says Add Artwork. So we'll just go to that now. So we'll go up to here, add artwork. Now it wants me to put a name in, so I'll put the singing butler, add artwork. And then it'll give you, you have got to upload two things. One's a still image and one's a video image. So 
Select the still image file. Pop it in there, and then select the video image of the time lapse video that I put together in there. Now, the good thing in Artivive is that it will automatically crop um, the video image to suit the painting image, which is square. If you just click Add, you'll see you've got three choices there. You can upload it as it is, or Artivive will uh, modify the video for you. Okay, this takes a minute or so to upload. And there we go. Now it'll process it for, uh, for 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'll take you down to the restaurant where the painting's currently hanging. I'll open the Artivive app and um, show you the effect. So here we are at the restaurant now. I'll just open the Artivive account and there's the effect right there. I'll show you the effect through the phone itself. It takes two or three seconds for the, um, the app to recognize the, the artwork. But it really does give a great effect and I'm using it in my next exhibition uh, for, all the, um, for all the paintings. So thanks Artivive, it's a great app.